All right, so today I'm going to demo how to make a chimera with Photoshop. A chimera is, in Greek mythology, a monstrous, fire-breathing hybrid creature. Okay, so the, the traditional chimera is a lion, a goat, and a snake. But with Photoshop, we can come up with many fantastic creatures. So here's a crocodile and a hummingbird. And if you guys want to get some ideas, if you just go to Photoshop Chimera on Google, you see a whole bunch of them. I really like these, these ones with the, uh, the horse body and the shark head. Okay, see, there's, some, there's that one in the example. Okay, so there's some really cool ideas here. You know, a zebra on an iguana's body, etc. Okay, but the suggestions that I had were a chimpanzee, a ostrich, and a panda. So the first thing I want to do is decide what animal's body I want to start with. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe the, let's go with the chimpanzee's body. Okay, so I'm going to Google chimpanzee. Another thing I want to do is go to search tools and set the size to large, because this is going to be my background. So I want to pick an image that's large enough that I can actually work with. Okay, and I want to try to find one that has the whole chimpanzee. Let's see what a good one would be. There's lots of them out here. Maybe this one. Oh, it has uh, watermarks all over it. That's, is, that, is that a chimpanzee or a gorilla? Okay, let's try this again. Chimpanzee standing. Okay, there's some funny ones here. Okay, let's go with this one. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to right click it, copy image, go to Photoshop, Control N will make a new file, and the width and height is automatically set to the size of the image I'm copying. Okay, so I can just hit OK, Control V to paste it in, and there is my chimpanzee. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add some features of an ostrich. So let me look up an ostrich. I'm thinking maybe an ostrich head. So given that my chimpanzee is looking head on, I want to find an ostrich that's looking head on. If I do a sideways ostrich, it's not really going to work very well. Okay. Someone has Photoshop teeth onto this one. That's kind of strange. Um, let's see if I can find a good one. Maybe this one? Let's see. This one's probably my best bet. It's got watermarks on it, but hmm. Maybe this one. Okay, I'm having trouble finding a good ostrich head. Let's change my search here, ostrich head. <clears throat> so it might take you a little while to find the images that you want, simply because it kind of depends on the angle of your let's go with here we go here's a good one okay so I'm going to right click this copy image go back into Photoshop and control V to paste it now this one's quite big, so I can press Control T to resize it. And if you hold Shift while you resize, then it'll resize proportionately. Otherwise, it'll become you know squished. Okay, so I want to resize that. Kind of figure out where I'm going to put that. I think uh, maybe about that big will be good. Okay. Now I have a bit of a problem. My chimpanzee, the background is too small. So what I can do here is image canvas size and I'm just going to set the bottom point as the anchor so it's going to make it bigger on top and let's just set this to pixels and I'm going to set the height to 
let's say 1300. Okay, so that just gives me more space on top. Okay. So I think I'm going to put it about right there. So what I want to do is extract the ostrich from the background. So the easiest way for me to do this one is probably the quick select tool. And with quick select, I'm just going to basically paint over the top of the ostrich. Oops, if you go onto the background, it's going to select the background. I just want the ostrich here. Oh, okay. That's not working as well as I thought. Okay, so I'm going to switch and try the polygon lasso. So this one is a little bit tricky because I've got all these little hairs. Now, don't worry about trying to get every hair. What I'm going to do is just kind of click around, get the general shape of the ostrich, and then I can refine the edge and get all those hairs. Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to see on the big screen, but you'll see in the video. I'm basically just clicking, making points around, click, 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 and then bring it back to the start point. Okay, and that will highlight my head. <clears throat> now if I click Refine Edge, up at the top here, I can paint around the outside, and this will actually highlight these hairs. Okay, so this is a very useful tool if you're trying to extract something that has hair. Otherwise, it looks really cut out. Okay, so you see, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but now I have all these hairs. I can click OK. And now I'm just going to press Control C to copy that head. Hide the original layer. So click on this eyeball. And now Control V to paste it back in. Okay, and there's my ostrich head. Now I'm going to get back to the Move tool, which is the top tool here. You can press V to get to that. And I want to move this in place, maybe about right here. Now I have a small problem. I've got a monkey head underneath here that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to hide this ostrich head for a second. So hide that layer. Come back to the monkey head. Now what are some ways I could get rid of this monkey head? Any ideas? I could cut it out. Um, what about the, well, let's try the spot healing brush. Remember we got rid of those people? W what's that going to do here? <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Um, so what I would recommend here is probably the clone stamp. Okay, the clone stamp allows you to sample an area of the background. So I can press Alt and click to sample the grass there. Now I can actually paint the grass somewhere else. So actually I'm going to sample here and color right there. Okay, sample, color. Let's see. Okay, so that's better. Now I want to sample part of the monkey's chest here and just color up here. Let's see, almost. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, the ostrich head needs to be blended in, so I'm going to click back on the ostrich layer, grab my eraser, and I'm going to get a very soft eraser. So bring the hardness all the way down to zero, and I can bump up my eraser a bit in size. You can use the square brackets right beside the P key to make your brush smaller and larger. Okay? And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge here. Okay? And that's just going to blend it in a bit. Okay, now I want to set the color of my ostrich to match the monkey. So <clears throat> you can adjust the layer um, in image adjustments, but I'm going to show you guys a cool tool called the color replacement tool. It's hidden under the brush. You click on that color replacement tool. And just like the, the clone stamp, we want to sample and then paint. So I can alt sample a color. So I'm going to get maybe this brown find a good color, maybe that one there. And now I simply just paint on the ostrich. Now it's actually not making much of a difference. Yeah, it's working on the beak, but I guess this is already gray. So what I have to do here then is just go through the adjustments and adjust the brightness. Okay, let's see if I can get that brown again. Okay, that's a bit better. 
Let's try this one here. No, I liked it better before. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now the next animal is a panda. So, okay, so let's look for a panda. And I think I'm going to grab the panda's maybe legs. So let's try panda standing. Uh, what's a good one here? Okay, I've already done an ostrich head. Let's try this one here. Okay, so I can copy this. Let's paste it in. And I think this will work, but, I, but the legs are kind of in the wrong position. So I'm just gonna go edit, transform, flip horizontal. Okay, that'll flip my image. And let's uh, try the quick select again to select these legs quick. Okay, so I can control C to copy, hide my original layer, control V to paste. Okay, I'm just gonna make that a bit bigger. And I want to uh, actually cut out this background area that I selected by mistake. Okay, so I'll just select that with my lasso, delete, and do the same thing here. Oops. Just going to refine that edge a little bit. There we go. I can delete that. And I'm just going to grab my eraser again and blend this in just by going around the edge. And I'm just going to actually taper this in a bit here. Okay, and the color is actually not bad. But I'm going to use the color replacement tool one more time to select the, oh, I don't want the history brush, I want this one. Okay, select this color on the chest and paint that down here. Okay, so not the, not the most fantastic creature I've made, but there you go, chimpanzee, a panda, and an ostrich. Now with the background, you'll see that it doesn't continue, so if I want to continue that, I'm just going to hide the ostrich head for a sec. And you could just use the, the cloning stamp, for instance, to, um, oops, to extend this background. Okay, it's not perfect, but there we go. Okay, so there you go, a ostrich, chimpanzee, and panda.